welcome to Will to Be Reviews. Today we're talking about Justice League issue 13, written by James Tinian IV and drawn by uh, Gilliam uh, March. Now, Justice League, you just finished up the whole Drowned Earth crossover with Justice League's, or with Aquaman, I'm sorry. So, I wasn't quite sure what to expect out of this issue, this issue and I certainly wasn't expecting a complete issue focused on the Legion of Doom or the villains. You can see here on the cover, we've got the Legion of Doom, Joker, Luther, Grodd, Black Manta hiding out there in the back with Legion of Doom scrawled over the, uh, the Justice League logo. But this issue was absolutely fantastic. I didn't know what to expect out of it, like I just said. And it just came right out of left field and it was it's just an amazing issue. So this issue jumps back a little bit to when Lex was putting together the Legion of Doom and he goes to the Joker to kind of give him his sales pitch to get the Joker to join the Legion of Doom. And the Joker's like, yeah, yeah, I kind of get what you're saying, but here's the deal. I've heard that you're trying to get the Batman who laughs to be part of the Legion of Doom or doing something with him. And let me tell you what, he is just wrong. Something's wrong with that creature. I'm in, but you can have no dealings with the Batman who laughs. And that just is so striking. From a character like the Joker who kills and murders and maims and tortures for fun, when he says someone or something is wrong, you better step up and listen because that just shows you how wrong the Batman who laughs is. I thought that was an amazing point, right? And then the rest of the issue is spent with the Joker getting the one up on Lex Luthor in the um, the, the Legion of Doom's Hall. That's not the Hall of Justice, Hall of Doom, I guess they call it. Um, showing that the Joker could have punished both Lex and the entire Legion of Doom at any time with all these traps that he set up and that he has, in fact, outsmarted uh, Lex Luthor, who is supposedly the smartest man on the planet or one of them, right? But he's outsmarted him and he, in the end, in a beautiful moment, he lays out this elaborate, awful, horrific torture plan that he had for Lex. And then he lets him go and says, everything that I was going to do is nothing compared to what the Batman Who Laughs has in store for you. So I'm going to leave you to your own devices. I'm gone because you're going to get what's coming to you because you didn't honor our arrangement. Oh, that is so good. I can just see it now. One, that we had six core members of the, the Legion of Doom, and we've already lost two. Black Manta sealed his own fate in the Drowned Earth crossover, and now the Joker has left. So that just leaves us with Lex, Cheetah, Grodd, um, oh, and Sinestro. That's the last ones. Man, the Legion of Doom is starting to fall apart, and it's all, I wouldn't say all, but I, I think at the end, when all is said and done, the, the, what's going to kill the Legion of Doom is Lex's hubris. I think that's what this book is setting the stage for, and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to, to keep pushing on this. Sometimes villains can be super surface level, but this, it, this particular issue just illustrates how good it can be when you actually write deep, nuanced villains. I absolutely love it. Now, this book also is sort of a jumping off point to a new miniseries. Six issues, I believe, for The Batman Who Laughs. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up that or not. Uh, we'll see. I have a pretty light week coming up next week. I think I'll have got three issues coming out, so I might pick that up just as something else to read for, for next week. So, Guys, I loved the hell out of issue 13 of Justice League this week. What did you think about it? What do you think of a very villain-focused issue? Actually, I don't think there were any heroes in this book at all this week. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.